2013 NEC Indoor Track and Field Championships are now history. Earlier today, the Monmouth men and the Monmouth women successfully defended their team titles here in Landover, Maryland. They took out the Blackbirds of LIU Brooklyn on both sides. There were a number of great performances this weekend over the last 48 hours, and we caught up with some of the folks responsible for those memorable moments after today's meet. We're here with Jamisha Richards to my right and Brian Richards to my left, both with LIU Brooklyn and both big winners here at the 2013 NEC Indoor Track and Field Championships. We'll start with the young lady to my right, Jamisha Richard. She was a rookie and she's our rookie at a meet. Had quite a weekend, won the 60 meter dash, the 60 meter hurdles, scored in the high jump and almost had a victory in the 200, Jamisha. Talk a little bit about um, the weekend and, and, and your first Northeast Conference Championship meet. Um, it was a good weekend. I was nervous because it was my first meet, but I just knew what we had to do and what we had to work for. And I just came in with the mindset ready to win. Now, the 60, the 200, the 60 hurdles, which one is your uh, favorite? I really like the hurdles. And can you talk a little bit about um, your performance in the, uh, in the 60 meter dash today? Um, in my head, I was just saying, do better than you did in the preliminaries and semifinals and just run hard and win and that I know I could do it. So, so Jamisha scored quite a few points, uh, 21 in all over the two day meet. The man to my right, he racked up a lot of points, 27 overall in these two days. Brian Richards, congratulations. The most valuable performer on the men's side. Uh, of course, he won the long jump. Talk to us a little bit about your signature event, taking home the gold again. Uh, you were the top seed coming in. Yeah, the long jump, my favorite event. I came here expecting to win, and I wanted to get that record. But you know, I didn't have that day, but in the long run, I got the victory, and that's all that matters. And of course, the long jump wasn't the only thing you had to do this weekend. Um, obviously, the, the, the goal was to score as many points for the team as possible. So talk a little bit about uh, your role in that strategy. Well, I told my coach to put me in as much as events as he would like to. I even wanted to do the high jump, but you know, I had to limit myself, the 60 hurdles, the 60, the 200. I went out and I did what I had to do, you know, get the points for the team. Hopefully we get that. Now, Brian, you're a veteran. You've been here before. You've seen a lot of great performances. You've had a lot of tremendous teammates over the years, Jesse Gaines, Jasmine Waller. Um, how does this young lady to my right stack up? How did her performance this weekend stack up to some of the things you've seen over the years here at the NEC Championships? Well, for Jamisha, I know for the future, she's going to be a big name in the NEC, one of the top performers that I've seen since I've been here, and I'm really excited to actually have been a member with her this year and I wish her the best in the future because I know she's going to be a big name coming up. And Jamisha, for you, um, joining on to a program like LIU which such great tradition, um, what does it mean to, to follow in the footsteps of some LIU greats and also to have teammates such as Brian and, uh, and others? Um, it feels good. It just lets me know that I'm not coming into a program where I just have to do good. I just have to be great. and just set my own legacy, and, but also do as great as a following athletes did. Well, there you have it. Brian Richards to my left, the men's MVP. Jamisa Richard to my right, the women's most outstanding rookie. Two great Blackbirds who are flying high tonight at the 2013 NEC Championships. We're here with the most outstanding track performer on the women's side and the co-MVP of the meet from Sacred Heart, Brianna Castro Giovanni. A great Italian name, by the way. But uh, Brianna, you doubled in the 3K and the 5K. Um, are you tired at all? Are you, you ready for another race? I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Now, um, for a distance runner, obviously, the 3K yesterday, the 5K today um, takes a lot out of you. Uh, how do you prepare for such a grueling double like that? 
Um, it takes a lot of preparation, a lot of mileage, um, a lot of rest, and just taking care of myself um, the past couple of weeks just to prepare for this. Now in the 5K, um, you led a very competitive field. Actually, the top three finishers came in under the former meet record, and you're now the new NEC 5K meet record holder. Um, what does that mean to you? Um, it's really cool, especially, um, you know, thinking back to what I performed here last year and seeing how much I've improved, and it's, it's a really good feeling, and um, I worked really hard, so. And what do you think it has led to your um, enhanced and in, uh, uh, improved performance here at the NEC meet? Um, it just gives me a lot of confidence for the next couple of races and um, the outdoor season, and um, it's just really cool to see my name up there. So. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations, and thank you for your time. Once again, Sacred Hearts Brianna Castro Giovanni, co-MVP and most outstanding track performer at the 2013 NEC Indoor Meet. We're here with two Mammoth Hawks, of course, Mammoth, the men's and women's team champions at the 2013 NEC Indoor Meet. To my left, Mariah Toussaint. She is the co-MVP on the women's side. To my right, we have Errol Jeffrey, throwing extraordinaire, the field performer of the meet on the men's side, the champion in the shot put and the weight throw. We'll start with you here, Errol. Um, you won the shot yesterday. Today you won the weight throw. Just talk about what that means to pick up 20 important points for the team. Well, um, I think that I attribute that to my preparation and my team for helping me out and giving me the right, I guess, motivation because I never did it for me. It was all for the team and my coach for preparing me properly and getting enough throws in and just, just being ready to perform. Now, you came in as the number one seed in both the shot put and the weight throw. Um, but were you confident that you were going to deliver a gold medal in both events this weekend? I never like to think I have anything locked up. I like to think it's always a competition because I was, I was, I'm not used to being the top dog. I've been the underdog before, and I, I, I rather prefer, I actually prefer it. So, yeah, I never, I never think I have anything won. So I come in every day and I compete like, like I'm not the number one seed. Well, from the underdog to the champion now. So over to my left, Mariah. She's the co-MVP on the women's side won the 200 meter, won the long jump with the ECAC mark, and scored in a couple other events as well. You had quite a busy weekend. You tired at all? You ready to do it all over again? I mean, I'm a little tired, but if we had to do it again, I'd do it. <laughs> um, now, what does this mean? This is your first indoor um, season with Mammoth. Yeah. And what does it mean to be on top of the NEC, taking home a team title to West Long Branch in your first go-round? Well, I never actually got to be a champion before, so it feels really nice, and I feel really good that I got to be um, the MVP. That's really nice. It feels good. <laughs> and about your events, what do you like better? Do you like the long jump, the 200? Is there any particular event that, that uh, you favor? Actually, I love the 200, and so I was really trying to get out and win this time, and I did, so I was pretty proud of myself. I mean, I love other events too, but 200 is my favorite. <laughs> yeah. What can you say about having um, a teammate like Errol and, and, and everyone else who, who contributes to this victory and someone as a newcomer coming into Monmouth, um, seeing all these veterans who have been here before who have done that, um, how does that affect your mindset? Well, I can personally say that um, in the beginning I had started with my high jump and stuff like that, and I had different teammates who were in it too, and when they would do good, it pushed me to do better. And when I see Errol, Errol's like one of my best friends here, and so whenever I see him do good, I always want to do my best and help us win, get as much points as we can. Errol, what can you say about this young lady to my left um, and her performance over the past couple of days uh, from, from, from the field performer of the week? Yeah. What, can you say, uh, what can you say about uh, Mariah? Uh, Mariah is super motivated. I see her every day, and uh, we always talk about track. I don't, I don't like always talking about track, but it, I just, I just think about track every time I see her because she's so motivated and so focused, and that kind of rubs off on you. And you want, you want, you want new, newcomers coming in to be focused and, and ready and have high goals and, and looking to do big performances and go to nationals. So I was proud of her, very proud of her. Well, now, in addition to talking about track, you guys can talk about what it feels like to win a championship. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much to both of you for your time today. Thank you. We're here with Monmouth head coach Joe Compagni. 
and he is going home to West Long Branch again with two team titles on the men's and the women's side, and that's a repeat on both the men's and the women's side. Two in a row for the Hawks. Coach, talk a little bit about this weekend here down in Landover, Maryland. You know, it was really about us. This is our, gonna be our, our final trip here. It was nice for us to win last year. We knew it was gonna be a battle this year with LIU and with Central Connecticut and Sacred Heart and some other very good teams. And uh, it was just nice to see our team really come together over two days. And I think we scored in just about every event and I really feel like it was a, just a total team coming together and uh, putting the pieces together and making things happen. Now we spoke earlier with Errol Jeffrey and Mariah Toussaint, um, but of course they weren't the only ones to get it done this weekend. I know on the women's side we were talking earlier about the performances of Amanda Eller and Rachel Watkins. Can you just talk about uh, those great individual performances and, and folks stepping up to help the Hawks bring the title back to West Long Branch? Absolutely. Uh, Amanda Eller was tremendous this weekend. Uh, ran five races over the course of two days. None of those races were easy, even though sometimes she makes it look easy to be the champ in the mile and in the eight and then come back and anchor our DMR for a win is, is awesome. Uh, Rachel's been a great leader for us this year and helped us in a lot of places. She's going back and forth from 400 to uh, high jump to hurdles and then on our 4x4, four four, uh, so she was super this weekend as well. And then on the men's side, you had Errol with the 20 points in the throws, but then a guy like Joe Marini in the jumps, uh, Ben Boyd in, in, in the dash. Uh, talk a little bit about what men helped make this title possible. The men, again, it was is a lot of people in a lot of places. Uh, we really take some pride in our depth and our balance. Uh, Joe Marini is a newcomer for us, has really energized our, our jump squad with his hard work and with his attitude and with his energy and performed very well this weekend. Uh, ben Boyd is uh, a sophomore who surprised people here last year and then defended his title this year. Uh, was great, 400, 200, 4 by 4 And then Ford Palmer uh, was, was great in the mile and uh, was right there in the 8. Wanted to run the DM and, and uh, we had somebody else take his spot. But just a lot of guys in a lot of places being good leaders for uh, the folks in their group and, and uh, getting them going in the right direction. All right, Coach. Well, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck at the IC4A Championships. And we'll be down at your place at the Jersey Shore in May, not to go swimming, but for some track and field. Once again, Mammoth will provide the backdrop for the 2013 NEC Outdoor Championships. So I assume you're looking forward to that, Coach? We're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to hosting. We love hosting. Uh, we get a lot of support from our administration, and uh, we want to put on a great championship. And I hope our team is ready to perform as well. Well, we'll look forward to being there, so mark your calendars. First week in May in West Long Branch, New Jersey, Ralph Ventry and Joe Compagni will be back with you. For the 2013 NEC Indoor Championships, you're watching NECFrontRow.com.